Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do um, a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. Capricorn, the new moon is upon us. The new moon is March 2nd. Um, we have the new moon money jar. If you want to bring in more money, abundance, and overflow of money, or just good energy altogether, happiness, joy, peace, serenity, you can contribute to the new moon money jar. Any donation amount is accepted. The link is below. If you want to take part in that, we'll do a collective prayer and ritual on the new moon. Um, I hope it finds you well. All right, so let's get into it. So let's see what the future energy is for you. Judication. So immediately I heard, hear me out. So somebody wants you to hear them out. A connection, a relationship could be in a real bad place. Um, somebody could have got, gotten found out about maybe uh, having sex with someone else or a sex only relationship, maybe inside of a marriage or a commitment. And then there was like, um, some sexual escapade that somebody had it's like you're trying to make it work also you're trying to bring the relationship back from almost the you know the dead from a bad place from a place of bad health it was dying and now someone's trying to revive it you could be going to a third party also maybe some mediator counselor therapist um psychiatrist anyone of that nature to try to help you guys um stay together hold it together Somebody needs to talk about maybe some repressed energy, repressed thoughts of something or about something, maybe something that is taboo, um, something that is, um, it could be a level of embarrassment or feeling like someone's not going to accept or not being accepted. But it's like somebody's like, let's work on this. You know, and it also could be that somebody is working on the relationship, the marriage or whatever it is. It's still going to a place of just it's going downhill and it could be because that it's not meant to be whatever this is and then um, vice versa is like we're working on this we're working on getting out of this place all right let's see what the soulmate cards have to say everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear so some of you have fear and maybe you make fear-based decisions here again not being accepted um, staying with the person just because um, fear, out of fear. Make decisions out of love um, and understanding and not from the ego. It could be you, it could be another person also. Okay, so sometimes the strongest people are the people, are the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. So some of you have, like I said, something repressed, dealing with some energy, where you feel like maybe you need to talk to somebody you can't get it out or you're very sad and or depressed again um maybe depressed about how things are going um how they're shaping out um you thought that it would be better or that it would be different uh you put it on a, a very strong front a very um tough face and um when you're uh, in front of maybe your person or other people, but there's so much under the surface, there's so much going on with you. This could be a secret affair. Somebody is keeping you a secret or you're keeping someone a secret. You, you fear what other people are going to think. Somebody is really torn up about maybe a separation or being a secret. Let's see what the um, career and finance cards have to hold, what they offer for you. Okay, so you've got launch card 20. Now is the time. So if you have something that you're working on, you have been working on, it's all together, it's time for you to set a launch date or it's time for you to actually launch. Um, you can't hold on to this for too long. Um, you have to put it out to the world. Yet yeah, trust your gut, maybe in, time, in terms of timing or what you should do or how you should market this thing or how you should market yourself or how you should put yourself out 
on the market. Maybe you're looking for a new job. Maybe you need to put resumes out there. Trust your gut. Things will turn out well for you. Let's see. Wealth. Very nice. You're surrounded by abundance. Okay. Um, and if you feel like you aren't contribute to the new moon money jar, um, wealth, you have a, a wealth of knowledge. You have a wealth, um, you have wealth coming into you because you have an idea that you need to put to the world so that you can then uh, receive the rewards of walking in your life purpose. Okay. Um, you're not chasing money, but you're chasing your dream. Therefore wealth is coming to you. Some of you have already amassed uh, a certain amount of wealth here and you're just resting in that energy. Some of you are waiting to get to that place. Social media. Yeah. So, um, you guys will help you create the strategy. So maybe again, you need to launch something maybe via social media because, um, it's going to be a wealth of knowledge for other people. It's going to bring you wealth. Um, it's and wealth is so many different things. It's going to bring you, uh, you know, um, a state of mind of healthiness. Um, it's going to, of course, bring you money. You need to trust your gut. If you feel like you have something good, put it out there to the world. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also uh, donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Contribute to the New Moon Money Jar if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you. Many blessings to you.